One of the biggest distinctions that I've become to learn and know is the distinctions between a cult leader and a teacher of facts. A teacher of facts will only teach you vocabulary words and their meanings, the formulas in chemistry and mathematics, and how to read and put together words without trying to teach and offer a specific thought process. And so my whole point of the Jilly Juice world is not to be anybody's teacher, is not to be anyone's guru. I don't like answering questions. Um, I don't want to have that responsibility of being a know-it-all. I created a book that has facts, that has concepts, that has substantiation from those that have studied and developed a foundation of concepts that allow us all to understand what the laws of life are and what the laws of death are. And so anytime somebody has dubbed themselves a teacher, dubbed themselves someone who will answer questions to everybody on a continuous basis, they are now writing that fine line of being a false deity, a false god, a person who serves to brainwash. And so I see that in a lot of college professors who will take their politics to the classroom and then brainwash their students. I see that people on my Facebook, that are like, oh, I love it when somebody asks questions. I can answer and give them all of, you know, what I think. And then they, you know, and... And here's the thing, you're still getting a perception from those on Facebook. You're still getting a perception from those in university and college. You're still getting a perception from those on mainstream media, alternative mainstream media, and the truther community. And so, you know, what I'm really trying to do is show the distinction between teaching perceptions and teaching facts. And there is a distinct difference between the two, but they get uh molded together and they become one and then people think facts or people think that perceptions are facts and when really they're not they're somebody's perception a type of brainwashing and so now we must learn in this new world we're entering into the laws of life and the laws of death and understanding very basic concepts of what creates life and what causes death and then now you have the ability to choose between the two. But then what people do is they get lost in the distraction. They get lost in the soap operas behind the perceptions of what they think life and death are. And then they fall into the false dichotomies. When in reality, they should be looking at the facts between life and death, not the perceptions around the facts of life and death. And so, yeah, so that's why I don't like anyone asking me questions because... Everything is on Google. Everything is in the dictionary. You look up what antibodies are, they're antibody. You look up what prostaglandins are, they're part of the healing hormones. That's pretty cut and dry. There really is nothing else you can discuss from that. That's either life or death. How do you enlist the prostaglandins? Well, it's salt, probiotics, cabbage and kale, and water. And you got to feel pain. Okay? At some point, the pain will end. If you want to induce a death process... You will inject yourself and bring up antibodies, and then you will stagnate your immune system, which is your prostaglandins, and you will stagnate your digestive system to where you're not releasing the excess antibodies, and then you will eventually overaccumulate and have imbalances in your biochemistry. Okay? And so that's pretty cut and dry. There really is nothing else you can say about that. But what you get in university is, oh, yeah, antibodies are healing. What you get in university is, oh, yeah, support the death trajectory by... By saying it's okay to die, it's okay to accept your disabling genetic mutations. It's okay to, um, I don't know, go outside and fight for your rights and, and, and take to the streets and trigger somebody else who may have an imbalance. It's okay to put yourself in harm's way. That's the university way. That's the professors in the universities that are triggering your children to put themselves in, harm way, in harm's way. And so now we are having an awakening that this is what university has done to your children, to your friends and family. 
And this is also what different government political action communities have done. And this is what even public education in your communities are doing to your children, turning them into cannon fodder to sub to sustain a very defunct system imbalances causing and promoting imbalances in body mind and spirit and calling it life okay and so you know that's why i don't like questions that's why i don't you know that's why i have a book the book has you know a little bit of my perception that people should be able to live indefinitely but i don't ram down anyone's throat and i don't want to be anyone's god all I want is for you guys to just understand the two concepts of life and death and that you don't need to diet. You don't need to, um, to uh, I don't know, do all these antibiotic protocols inducing antibodies. And it's all about balance. You know you're going to be exposed to a certain amount of antibodies. You know that your body is going to produce antibodies based upon your evolution. And then you're supposed to release the excess, no different than releasing excess minerals in your body, no different than releasing excess fatty acid, amino acid, bro hormones and minerals. And then absorbing what you need and utilizing that energy efficiently. So that way you then trigger mental clarity and you're able to express yourself in an intelligent manner without triggering your hormones, causing violent uprisings or causing some type of weird depression or anxiety, which is totally prevalent all over the world that is not doing J-Juice. Okay? And so that's the whole point of J-Juice, is to be the ultimate copy, because you're not an original. You're all freaking copies. You're all copies, and you're all now trying to become an original in a system that is glorifying your copy. Maybe it's time to get off that revolution train and evolve. And that's the point of J-Juice is to tap into your evolution and stop tapping into the same revolutions you're seeing over and over and over again. So good luck. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. My thought for the evening. Bye.